the worst parts of the day is getting up, but yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video for any of you guys here. My name is Levi. I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes open. I'm just so dang tired. Um, today though, I'm going to take you guys through a day in the life. A lot has changed since my last day in the life, like a lot I feel. And so I think it'd be pretty interesting and pretty cool to show you guys like what has changed since then. You know, I always kind of take you guys through like a vlog and show you parts of the day, but I'm going to try to like take you more so specifically what's going on through my day. So without further ado, let's get into the day. First things first when I wake up, come downstairs, have breakfast. Normally I like to get this done fast, but someone didn't put something back where it belongs. So I had to transfer everything over, find an alternative, and that took a long time. Definitely lost my temper. Some of you guys know I'm also partaking in a bodybuilding show, so you know we're four weeks out, it's a little easier to get a little more angry about things um, that probably aren't that big of a deal. Around 6.20, I like to get out of here by like 6.45 to get to the gym. Um, gives me enough time to warm up and then hit the time that I like to hit the gym. It's also my pre-workout meal. You guys are probably thinking pancakes before a show. Um, this whole thing right here is only like 300, 400 calories. Um, I'll put it all up on the screen for you. Um, this isn't a full day of eating, but these pancakes have been like a hack getting through this prep. It made it like just easier to get through especially in the morning plus it is so much more i would say filling because the volume of it is so much bigger than just like a half cup of oats some egg whites and a banana so definitely worth it the transplant labs as you guys know came out with a new formula if i can bend it back yeah and let me just say, all these flavors that they've had in the past are all revamped and they actually taste amazing. As some of you guys know, I talked about this in a previous video. And the problem was with the other ones is they were just like way too sour, like the way that they were going about their flavoring. But they managed to change their flavoring while also keeping all the clean ingredients and making it very simple, which is amazing. Like this is a game changer because now to me, it just makes Transparent Labs pre-workout like that much better than all the other pre-workouts on the market. Because some of you guys know, I've had other people that I know try this pre-workout and like, it's great, but the flavor just isn't there. Like if the flavor was there, this be like my all-time favorite pre-workout. And like now, they got that flavor down. I haven't tried Pina Colada yet, but today we try it. I did just like brush my teeth. Pretty good. I think I like the watermelon one still just because it's a little more refreshing and they have done a fantastic job. Gosh, isn't that just freaking beautiful? There's Mount Rainier to the right. Let's see if we're going to see it. Uh, you can see it. Yeah, it's over there. You can see it right there to the right, it's kind of hard to see now the building's in the way. I'm a huge outdoors guy. If you guys follow my Instagram, you guys know that fishing, hunting, camping, just being outdoors in general is something I really enjoy. It's very peaceful and stuff. And so I like, I wanted to show you guys at this one. I thought that was just insanely beautiful. I mean, I'm still looking at it right now. And do I advise looking at that while also recording a YouTube video and driving? No, but it's beautiful. And you know, it's God's creation too. Like, it's it's just insane that that even exists. Like, I can't even fathom how it exists. I don't know. I think that's why I like nature. It's just so mind blowing. Like the fact that it even exists is just, it's like an awe moment. It's like, you know what I mean? I don't know, it's crazy. Anyway, we're probably like eight minutes out from the gym. Uh, as I actually drank the pina colada pre-workout more, it actually started to taste better. It's because like obviously like the toothbrush, toothpaste, taste, toothpaste, 
taste went away a little bit. So I actually taste like way better than like what I had originally thought it tasted like. If that makes sense. Like when I tried it in there in the house, it was better. But like now it's like perfecto. I gotta tell y'all something funny that just came into my head. And like I gotta tell y'all because y'all just aren't viewers on my YouTube channel. Like y'all are y'all are people like I want to get to know. Y'all are like my friends, but through like a lens. And so as I'm driving, I see like this little coffee pop-up shop kind of thing going on and I look at it right and I'm because I, I like coffee first off and then second off I was like looking at it and I was like oh man maybe I should stop there sometime then I saw a dude working there I was like eh, maybe not and the reason the reason that's funny is because like yeah I like coffee and I like trying new coffee places but the thing is too is like you know you never know if there's gonna be a cute gal there you know and so I was like eh, you know there's I don't like to just go just because the cute girl's there. I think I'm just like, I'm single. So like, it's like, I think this is more of like a deeper, like it was funny, but now it's like deep. <laughs> like I also am one of those guys right now where I'm just single and I'm kind of just seeking out a relationship. So when I'm like passing coffee shops, I'm like, is there a cute girl in there? Like what's going on? That part's funny. But the other part was just kind of like, damn. So what we're gonna do right now Starting off today's back workout. We're, we already started, we did some low rows. Again, the angle for that workout is really bad, so I'm not gonna record it. We're gonna do these pull-ups right here. Lately, I've been experiencing a lot of shoulder pain when I do pull-downs on the machine. Um, so I just didn't wanna do it, didn't wanna cause myself to go through that injury again or deal with it more. So we're gonna do pull-ups. Um, I'm not really too sure why I'm even experiencing that, but we're gonna do these pull-ups right here. What's cool about this pull-up machine is it's like a pit shark. You guys have seen that where you like sit like this and you squat, but it also has one where you pull and you can attach weights to your belt, um, which we're not doing today because I'm not strong enough to do that right now. So we're just gonna do beltless. So one thing that I wasn't doing prior to probably like a year and a half ago was doing my back workouts properly. When I was pulling, it was really through my forearm, my bicep heavily instead of with my back. And it's hard to explain to someone how to lift specifically with their lat. But what I like to do is keep my thumb out of the movement and just hook the weight like that. And then just pull with the back, like imagine your bicep and your forearm aren't doing anything. Like try to make those limp and try to see how you can pull the weight up without using as much as your rear delt, that's a secondary, so it does get worked in the movement, but just pulling with the back. It has helped my back growth tremendously and I've had to dumb down the weight, yes, and some of you guys might need to do that, but if you want results, sometimes you have to take a step back to take a step forward. And that's just one of those things that sometimes you gotta do. And I'm preaching to myself when I say that. There's a lot of shit that I need to take a step back on, learn and crap and all that. I just realized I'm gonna have to do cardio today in freaking sweatpants. My shoulder's starting to give me problems again. Probably do another set and call it good. But one of the things, especially when you're doing shoulders, I see like full blown, like me even sometimes full blown me. What do you mean by that? Um, but I even see adults doing this. Like people that have clearly been lifting for a long time with shoulder workouts. And it's okay, like when, especially when you get to the bottom of the set and you're almost done, you're just trying to pump out a few just to get that extra burn. But when you're going through the reps that you can easily do, or more so easily do, is you wanna go up, like no crap, and then you wanna come down, but when you come down, you wanna control it. You don't wanna be like, you don't wanna be doing any momentum. You wanna keep that muscle under tension so it's actually breaking down and working, because if you just do this, you're just doing momentum. This showed me like how weak my shoulders actually were, because again, I'd been making that mistake for so long, but once I started to actually start the 
slower contraction down. Not necessarily slower, but just controlled contraction. Put that muscle under so much more pressure, making it build better. I'm gonna wrap this up, do some cardio and abs. I'm just not gonna keep risking my shoulder. It's just not comfortable doing the movement. And it's been here for like four weeks now, so I really gotta recover this. Do abs, and then we got cardio for 30 minutes. Just walking on the treadmill. We got some other stuff. So typically after my workout, um, I usually either A, do my work that I do for the agency that I work for. I'm a video editor on an agency as well, so I do have a job. Um, and then I also, what else do I do? I'll also answer, today's Monday, and this is usually what I'll do, but I got it all out of the way relatively quick. I get a hold of my clients and hop on a phone call. I do online coaching. If you guys want to apply, link down below in the description. Um, I'll go through, make sure everything that you know they're doing is going good. Um, I'll also get any other clients on board that want to sign up for my coaching and whatnot. So yeah, that's what I'll usually do. Um, got that all out of the way. So right now, some of you guys know, I also run my own business called Kill Built, and it's a clothing business. And DJ, who has been messaging me on social media and all that, finally decided to buy a pair of shorts and support the brand. So DJ, I just want to say I appreciate you, bro. He ordered the Kill Bill running shorts. I'll just show them to you right now. So he ordered a size medium. It's got like this Kill Bill trail, embroidered logo on the back with a zipper pocket. So that is going out to him and I hope he enjoys these. I'm gonna package this up. I also got an appointment that I gotta head to probably like right after I package this up. And then after the appointment, I'll start heading on over to school. I got class today at like 1.30 and all that and good stuff. It's not really good stuff, but I gotta do it. So that's that. We're gonna finish this up and hit the freaking road. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Do any of you guys listen to Limp Biscuit? All right, so we're dropping off the package right quick before we head into school. I got, what was it, this negotiation class and the post office happens to be like right where my campus is at. So that works out perfectly. I go to campus, yeah, I'm like this downtown city kind of area of Tacoma. It's kind of cool. I'm not a big city slicker, but it is what it is. Ah, this is always such an awkward time of the day for me personally because there's like, I, mean, I think it's partially to do just because of school starting up my schedule. Um, it was kind of like this last spring quarter, except for I was preparing for a marathon. So it kind of like dissipated or it didn't really seem, I don't know, every, you know, every season is different that you experience in your life. And this is just one of those seasons where it's, it's just different. But um, right now it is currently five o'clock in between me getting off school, 3.30. It's about a 20 minute drive home. I also had to stop by AutoZone, take care of like some real life stuff, you know, that like no one talks about on social media. Um, literally just had to get my car looked at. Um, there was like the maintenance light on, nothing wrong with that. Um, ate lunch or like a, whatever you want to call it. Cause I have tons of meals throughout the day. Um, had that and now we're here. So I'm going to do homework right now. Usually I would like mostly focus on editing clients, other forms of work to make money. But right now I'm going to focus on homework. Tuesdays are really when I edit all of these videos that you guys see. And then Wednesday they get published. So I have the video done the day before. So it's all ready to go the next day. So it'll be ready for Wednesday. Not this video. This video is going to be for Sunday. And the video before that I need to work on tomorrow is going to be for Wednesday. I, I don't even know if that makes sense. Yeah, this is just, I don't know. I think I'm thinking I'm having a tough day. The reason I'm having a tough day isn't because like, oh, you know, like, oh, you know, school, all this stuff. It's because some of you guys know bodybuilding prep. It's, you know, it takes a lot of energy out of you. And by this time during the day, you know, I've used up already a lot of my energy toward my lift. 
toward cardio, toward all that, you know, school, um, work in general, driving around, running around. And so being on such low calories and stuff, it really just, I would say, depletes me a lot of my energy. So yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to work on homework right now, but got to get it out of the way. Happy this is my last year because I would rather much a lot of my time toward not necessarily things that I want to do, but things that are going to make me more money, if that makes sense. Like I'm not money driven, but like if I can make more money, great. Like I would love more time to do that. Never have enough money. There's a saying for that. And if, I guess if you're Bill Gates or something, but amongst like the basic population, you and I, you know, yeah, we're just gonna work on some homework and get her done. time that I last saw y'all to the time like where we're at now and I literally had dinner I worked and I probably watched 10 minutes total of football it was a pretty eventful day as you guys see there's like a lot going on yeah it's a lot I can't really complain I feel like about what you guys have seen so far in the day and it's not that it makes me mad it's just I sign up for this stuff so it's like how can I be mad about like all of these things going on if like this is you know what I decided to do but the day is not over so right now um, I'm gonna get a little close to you guys so I mentioned a few times throughout this video that I'm competing for uh, competing for I'm competing in a bodybuilding show and I'm doing men's classic physique in the open category I was gonna do novice but I was like look um, I think I'm more competitive than that so let's just go do open um, it's a natural show this time. The last show that I did was not natural, but I was competing in it natural. So I have to do posing. So at night I run through my posing. Um, I'm just gonna tell you guys a song that I've been doing now. So I've been doing uh, for like, you have to have a song for like your posing. I'm doing Pirates of the Caribbean, um, the theme song, so this. And that's like my posing song. Don't want to play too much or else YouTube will be like, I hate you. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now for my posing song. And then I also have to do like the regular poses that you would do on stage that they primarily judge you off of. So I do that before I go to bed. And then I'll read my Bible before I go to bed. I got some laundry that I got to take care of behind me. And then brush my teeth and do all that stuff. And then hit the hay, hopefully before 10 o'clock, it's currently 9.16. You'd be surprised like getting in the word um, and then the posing session, then brushing my teeth and stuff. It, it goes by um, pretty quick, but it takes up a lot of time. I've given you guys like the day in the life, right? Like yeah, this is my day, it's like a realistic day in the life. Um, I try not to, you know, make everything picture perfect. You know, I think social media just already does that too much already and I didn't wanna follow that stereotype or just like follow along with what it was doing. So. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna take you guys through my day in life, just kind of how my life is as an athlete, um, you know, preparing for a bodybuilding show right now. You know, it could have been a marathon, it could have been something else. Um, but yeah, this is how it is and how it's like right now. And I kind of wanted to give my two cents and my feelings and beliefs on it. So this is not sustainable long term. Um, it would be one thing if I was just going to school and preparing for this bodybuilding show, but you know, the fact that I have all of these other things like my business, the side hustles, everything else going on at the same time, you know, even like just my family and friends, it's a lot, dude, and it's not sustainable long term. And I want to say that having all of the other stuff going on is fine, like that's manageable, but being the low body fat is what I think is really making this the most difficult. Um, more so specifically the bodybuilding that I'm preparing for because getting lower body fat and it makes things a lot more irritable and it makes me easy, easier to get stressed because cortisol is pumping through my body because my body's hungry. Um, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, like I can't wait for this bodybuilding show to be over. Like I really can't. I didn't think this was gonna be that hard, but it has been much more harder than I like imagined in my head. 
Uh, these four weeks that I have are going to be a very long four weeks. And I just know at the end of this is all going to be worth it. And what's funny is after I do this bodybuilding show, I know I'm going to get hate in some way, shape or form. And it's not like I'm upset about the hate. The reason I'm pointing it out is because there's an important message here with that. And it's that anytime you're successful, someone is always going to hate. And what's so funny about those people that hate on other people who are successful is that they probably could not last a day in that person's shoes that's successful because people don't understand what it takes to be successful sometimes. They just think, you know, oh, I could easily do that. They see a photo of someone, they think that's nothing. And then they don't really even take the time or the moment to really think about what all that person is doing in preparation for or, you know, what they're doing to even achieve that success. And so I know that that's going to happen and it's it's one of those things where it's like it's hard in the moment for me to like read that but then I have to realize that that person can't see it through. And this is just a life lesson thing I'm just kind of like preaching on about right now, you know, cuz I think you guys see me and you might see the success stuff sometimes but like everything you saw in this video, man, like it's a struggle. Like it's it's no joke. But yeah, man, that's gonna do it for today's video. I need to get posing. It's almost 9.30. I've had to record this bit like a few other times just because I, I could not get it down for whatever reason. Um, but y'all, I, I really appreciate you guys, seriously. Um, you know, I've become a lot more, how would I word this? Like just more comfortable on camera lately, um, even though I've been doing YouTube for four years. I've become a lot more like you guys are actual people rather than like trying to say everything perfectly and just more so again being myself and it's really helped a lot with making these videos and making these videos easier too. Like I don't have to cut out so much when I'm editing and stuff because I'm not pretend. I'm, it's not like I was pretending before, but I was like trying to be so perfect with everything that I was saying and I'm not trying to do that now. So to do it for today's video. I hope you all liked today's video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know we'll be back. Any support is appreciated, guys, on the channel, whether you buy some Killboat merch, Transfer Labs, Kalevi, whatever it is. Seriously, it helps me to continue doing this stuff. So thank you all. As always, that time to do it to us because the sky's the limit. We'll see you all in the next one.